Hey everyone, I'm Will, and in the video today, I wanna to share a few five common mistakes that I see beginner photographers make, and I'll share with you how to fix them. All right, the first one is an overemphasis on gear. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some cameras that are better than others. There are some lenses that are sharper than others. But what can happen, especially when we're first starting out, is we can get obsessed with trying to have the best tech. And essentially, you end up with all the gear and no idea. The most important thing is what I call the four pillars. Your location, your composition, your light, and your post-processing. So as a beginner, one of the most important things you can do, stop obsessing about the gear, spend more time outdoors in nature, and your photography is gonna improve immensely. The next one we're gonna talk about is using big global adjustments in your post-processing. You might even be using presets or plugins that are doing a lot of automated editing for you. One of the most powerful things you can do is use local adjustments. Local adjustments are gonna give you a way more refined look and finish to your image and allow you to break down the image in individual zones to create a sense of depth and three-dimensionality. And start to utilize local adjustments using what I consider the best tool in Lightroom or Photoshop the local adjustment brush. All right, next up is over using a wide angle lens and overemphasizing your foreground matter. Now, I know it's fun and enjoyable when you get that wide angle and you can just fit so much into the frame, but what can happen is we get a little bit too obsessed with getting some interesting foreground details that the background starts to suffer and the overall composition begins to heavily favor the foreground instead of the background and creating a sense of environment depth so next time you're using the wide angle lens remember the foreground is there as a way to lead the eye and complement the entire frame all right the next one is all about composition what can happen when we're starting out is we want to show that we're more than a beginner we want to have a technical composition we want to have some creativity in our shot and unfortunately sometimes we can get so obsessed with that that we end up making a very noisy image an overly complicated composition analyze your frame Break the image up into six parts, three boxes along the top, three down the bottom. Analyze every single box and ask yourself, is this portion of the image adding or subtracting from the overall composition? If it's not adding anything to it, get rid of it, clean it up. And the last one is an overemphasis on sunrise and sunset color. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love my sunrises and sunsets, but more important than color in the cloud is light, particularly light on the landscape on your subject matter because this just creates so much depth. When you have light on the landscape, you also have shadows and we get a sense of depth and there's three dimensionality through the frame instead of just a flat subject matter. Often, if you're waiting for the sunset and getting that last light, you're not gonna have any light on your landscape. Same for the sunrise. So really, one of the best times to shoot is right around that time that the sun is getting close to the horizon or even a little bit sooner than that where the light is higher and we're getting nice golden light skimming across the landscape. It's gonna depend on your location, but it is something worth keeping in mind. Sometimes the best light is well and truly before the sunset or after the sunrise. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for checking it out. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.